Hello my friends and welcome to Flat Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about the image element of the UI system. Now that's probably the worst accent you have ever heard. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Flat Tutorials. This is the UI series and today we're going to talk about the image element of the UI series. So yeah, let's get started. So uh, in order to create an uh, a image element, and probably the image element is in every element, uh, almost in every element of the UI system in order to provide it a graphical feel. So if you go ahead and select the uh, create a button, you're going to notice you have an image component attached to it. So let's just talk about the image component. So if you go, go ahead and create an uh, image you're going to notice that you have a image component attached to it. Now, uh, the first variable of that image uh, component is source image. Now, it depends what image you provide to it. It's going to show uh, the image that you provide to it. So, I'm just going to select any sprite right here. You're going to see that um, it will render the uh, the sprite that is assigned to the source image. Now, if you don't assign any of the uh, uh, if you don't design any uh, sprite to it, it will gonna show uh, it will gonna just show a solid color um, onto the on, uh, onto the image element. If you assign uh, any type of a sprite to it, and you change the color, the color will be multiplied to the sprite, so you can have a tint feel to it. Okay. Uh, the next thing is the material. Now, uh, this is a very useful in some cases. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what uh, this material property does. I'm just going to assign um, a sprite to it. And I'm going to go ahead and create a material. Um, so I'm just going to create a material. I'm going to select the UI uh, lit bumped. Now I'm going to select um, the diffuse, the same sprite, and for the uh, bump map, I'm just going to select the normal map of the tiles. So, uh, yeah, okay. Now once this has been done, you're going to notice that your sprite, uh, uh, the material, is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and assign this material right here. Now this will going to turn my image uh, to, to black un uh, unless I have. Uh, a light attached a light attached here so I'm just gonna go ahead and assign this canvas to a camera and this is gonna be the main camera so that I can view the sprite right here and uh, I'm just gonna double click on it and create a new light uh, point light and now you can see that the properties of the material is showing up you can you, uh, you can see the bump uh, uh, the bump map uh, filling the area so yeah uh, if you want to have a you know shader feel or some materials attached to a sprite you can use this material and this is very useful in some cases if you wanted to have some exclusive effects um, okay so yeah Okay, now let's talk about oh, why would I delete that? Okay, now let's talk about the preserve aspect thing. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select any sprite. And if you select the preserve aspect um, uh, toggle button, what it will gonna do is it will gonna preserve the aspect ratio of the image. Um, even if uh, even if the rect of the UI element changes, so if I go ahead and change the rect, you're gonna notice the uh, the in the uh, the aspect ratio of the image is not being changed, but the size is. So uh, yeah, it will gonna preserve the aspect ratio of the image if this box is checked. Okay, uh, let's talk about the image type. Now, if it is uh, set to simple, it will not gonna have uh, uh, any effect. Uh, except the preserve aspect ratio. The next image type is sliced. Now Unity uses a nine way slice method. Now what I mean by that is I'm gonna go ahead and import a hundred by hundred image. This is an image that I created in GIMP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and import this image into the textures. Set the image type to Sprite2D UI. Um, set to 
Uh, no, I'm not gonna say do anything else. Uh, or okay, yeah. So click on a sprite editor, and you're gonna notice that you have border right here. So you can uh, change this value, and uh, you can go ahead and create nine sli uh, nine width slice image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assign each, uh, equal value. So I have a, I have a nine equal sizes. Okay. Now what this does is uh, uh, it slices your it slices uh, slices your image in nine uh, separate images. Now it will not gonna be showed up in the uh, project view, but what it does it, it uh, when you uh, when you scale your image, what uh, what will gonna happen is um, the mill the center size of the scale will uh, the center size of the image will only be scaled so that the borders uh, won't get um, distorted. So. Yeah, let's see this of uh, uh, this effect in action. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, assign this sprite to this element right here. And you get no and you're gonna notice that even if I stretch it, it will not gonna get distorted. Uh, distorted. Now, if you have some other element, I'm just I'm, I'm not gonna select it to slide. I'm just gonna set it to simple. And you're gonna notice that uh, the um, I'm just gonna uncheck this. And you're gonna notice that the borders will get distorted if i set it to sliced it will not so yeah that's a great use of sliced image type let's talk about tile now what tile does it it will gonna tile your image onto the rect um just like this okay now if you have um some other image like right here right here anything uh, if I'm not going to show up that way, so I'm just going to go ahead and other image. Let's just go ahead and select the speech bubble. And you'll notice that the speech bubble will be tiled according to that. Okay, now let's talk about the filled. So if if I have a sliced image selected to it, I'm just going to set it to um, my old sliced um, sprite and set it to, I'm just going to set it to native size right here. Set it to sliced. Um, fill center uh, is an option if you have slice selected. This will gonna uh, this will gonna uh, enable or disable the center part of the sliced image. So you can have either uh, either the borders or the whole image. Um, filled will gonna fill your um, your image um, uh, according to the fill amount. And the type of the uh, and the method you use right here. So if you have vertical fill, it will gonna vertically fill your image. Okay, radial 180, 360, horizontal. Okay, you can either select uh, the origin of the fill method starting. All right. Um, okay. Now let's talk about the uh, set native size. Uh, set native size button. Now what this will do, uh, do is it will gonna resize the rect of the UI element uh, same to the size of the image imported. So if I go ahead and click on it, it will gonna uh, set it to uh, the size of the sliced image. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on set native uh, uh, native size, and you can see the width is 100, height is 100, which is the imported uh, width and height of this uh, image. Okay, so I guess this has been it, and uh, I hope sure that you guys understand pretty damn well. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below, uh, or you can uh, leave it on my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys on to the next one, so, uh, on the next episode, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later, goodbye, and yeah, goodbye.